Hi guys, I am Patty Elhoff. This is my book and I'm going to show you a video today on how we can make a white rose box. Forgive my attire here. These are the supplies that we'll need. Might want to pause that. This is the crafting iron, but you can use a regular iron. To get started, we'll want to take our box and base coat the inside and the outside with gesso. This is how it looked before. Just a plain wooden box. You might want to sand it down a little bit. And then just paint inside and out with gesso. I'm not removing any of this hardware because these boxes are very inexpensive and the hardware does not always go back the same way that it came out, which isn't good. That's the gesso. And I'll just paint this really quick and come right back. You may also just want to keep a wet rag handy that you can keep your damp decoupage brush in. I'm now going to paint a thin layer of decoupage glue just on this inside lid right here. While it's drying, I'm going to cut out one single rose. You'll want to separate your napkin after you've cut it so that you're only left with one ply and that would be the surface of the napkin with the image on it. Now I'm going to place the rose down very carefully and smooth out any wrinkles. I'm being gentle here. And then I'm going to take the craft iron, I think it's called an embroidery iron, and carefully iron this with a piece of parchment paper over top of the rose. I added one coat of decoupage glue over the rose. I let that dry and I'm now adding the top coat, as you can see here. This is the triple thick over the whole surface here. I wanna make sure I get these outside edges with the top coat also. I'll also make sure I get the inside here. Just want to make sure I get a nice top coat and it's all consistent in here. And I'm going to add a little bit of glitter while this is still wet. Now I'm going to add decoupage glue over the whole outside of the box and I'm keeping the box closed right now and I'm trying to avoid the hardware. It's okay if you get some on there, but I am trying to avoid the hardware and I'm keeping the box closed and I will open it as soon as I'm done covering the whole surface. I'm also making sure that I'm just getting any excess glue off of these little hardware pieces. I cut out the edges of the napkin so that I could go along, <clears throat> excuse me, with the pattern of the rose and I'm separating it. And I just want to do a dry run here to make sure I like the way it looks before I glue, uh, before I iron anything down. It's already got the decoupage glue on there. It's dry. And now I'm putting the parchment paper over the area and I'm going to iron the whole surface, smooth it out, make sure it looks all right, and then I'm going to take a razor blade. I don't think I put that in the supply list, I apologize, but I want to go along these edges here to make sure that I'm getting the paper 
cut and I'll go over those areas again. Just working in sections and I went right up to the hardware there so that I'm not ironing the paper over the hardware. Again, just checking it, pulling the napkin a little tighter, using my iron. And again, the razor. This is so that when you open this, it doesn't tear anything or leave any jagged edges. It leaves a nice, clean, crisp edge. Now I'm just going over this bottom area. I'm going to add a few little leaves down here just to add a little bit more of a decoration. So I'll cut this out and apply it the same way. While the decoupage glue is drying, I'm going to iron right up against that hardware on the back. Now I'm going to take these leaves apart gently and I'm going to lay them down over the dry decoupage glue. It's a little bit of a trick or a little bit of a challenge here. And I will lay the parchment paper over that. And you can do this anywhere you want on the project if you're not happy with a certain area. Now we're just going to sand off these extra edges, just on the sides. Now for the sides, you can put any part of the napkin down that you like. Put the parchment paper over it, iron it, because you've got the dry decoupage glue on the sides. And now you can just sand off any excess. Now I'm just using a little water on a Q-tip and I'm going over that hardware to get rid of the tissue paper, the napkin. And now I'm going to apply one more coat of decoupage glue over the whole dried surface. Now I'm going to apply the top coat, which is the triple thick, all over the whole box, the whole outside of the box. I'll be adding glitter while this is still wet, and just a smattering of glitter. I don't want to overdo it. Once I'm done adding the glitter, I'm going to put the nail file inside the box to let it dry open. So here is how our completed box looks. You'll see that I made another one the day before. That's there to the left of it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Here's the front of it. And uh, if, you've got, if you guys have any questions or if you need some help, please feel free to contact me. Thank you so much for subscribing. And as always, I will see you next week with another video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.